it's another e late evening. It's uh, about 20 to 10. It's not too bad. It's been a long working day. Mostly videos. So I have to keep changing my shirt so it looks different. But the problem is these shirts are really old, so kind of look like I just crawled from under a, under a bus or something. But it's a studio. I just wonder if the people on who teach on the uh, social media, if they get all fancy dressed up to go into their own studio to teach. I don't know. I want it to be kind of like another day in the studio. So um, that's why it's just another day in the studio. So this is the example of why when you buy a kid a toy, they throw away the toy and then they just play with the box. Look at this box. This sketchbook is in this box. And this box is making for great collections of pencils and stuff. I'm loving the box. The sketchbook's pretty good. I'm loving the box. So, anyways, uh, that's kind of a cute way to get started. So this sketchbook here, put this over here so you can see it. Okay. Um, probably not my best work in here. But it's kind of fun. It was a long time ago. Remember I was on uh, vacation. I turned to my daughter. I said, I'm going to buy myself a nice sketchbook. And that was uh, the beginning of something that was really bad. Cause, and I just continued to buy nice sketchbooks. Um, but I was just kind of sketching. You know, I wasn't doing like real serious drawing. Hmm. Nothing good. That's a quick sketch. Let's see. What do we got here? But I want to get back into it. The paper's really pretty. It's pretty. So, that's about where we're at. So, let's go to the Getty. We'll live vicariously through my phone. So, this is Getty stuff. This is the show that's going on right now. Some female sculptor. And they made a big deal. That it's a female sculptor. And it's good stuff. I went in the first one in the door, right to this, you know, to the show, and I immediately just start taking pictures. Bam, 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 bam. You know, like I'm hired, you know, to to take these pictures. Let me get my coffee. Hold on. And uh, it's really funny. And the guards are all looking at me, you know, like who is this guy? Which you know, I get often anyways when I'm at the Getty, and. Uh, so, because I want to get the, sh the photos taken so I can go to my revenge room where I love to hang out. And uh, before I left, after taking all these pictures, I sit down at this little tiny seat, you know, it wasn't anything special. and just knocked out a Renaissance drawing of one of the sculptures and the guard came over and was like, oh, so that was kind of fun. Anyways, it's a pretty good show. Um, just good stuff. I like this one. It's real dramatic. They're, you know, either they're dark, you know, so it's hard to see. But then they had some that were really, you know, then they get into, you know, the lighter ones. And those take on the light. So that's good. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I took a picture of one of them. The one that I showed you. So let's go ahead and move to that album. There we go. Here we go. So here's here's this one here. So we'll go like this. Let's have some fun with it, okay? So let's see. She's it's pretty dramatic. So she's let's see if we can find a crossover page. I go to the center of the signature. Being that I was a printer for 10 billion years, there we go. There's a crossover page. I can move across. Well, it's not going to work. Let's go back over here. We'll just draw it smaller. That's a fun drawing. It's nice and loose. See? Okay, so just the old animators would hold the pencil back here and just move it around. 
I know the illustrators make the uh, you illustration people you make the point this long and then you hold the pencil like this and then you somehow get your elbow up like this and then you have to cock your head about 31 degrees and then you gently do your your drawing but now oh, maybe the old animators had that on you before because they would just hold the pencil and just just kind of push it when I say old well, I mean back then I was 19 so I guess everybody was old Let's see my old teacher had a friend and he was the guy who uh, they did uh, Mr. Magoo from so I knew him pretty well because my teacher used to complain about him because if my teacher got you know ten dollars he'd spend fifteen and this guy you know was like one of the old animators they were, they were really good at about you know managing money because you worked like six seven months on and then they just take the rest of the year off but you had overtime and the overtime you knew you know you could literally double your salary because it was in crunch and you know i'm old school so what i would do is give the studio you know, i was working at home so i give the studio an extra 10 hours free so 40 hour a week 50 hour a week and if i wanted to make changes I just did it so it was kind of cool working at home because I could give a lot of quality even though if you're working in house you may not get to give that quality because it might be a shit scene and you, you gotta you gotta hack out a shit scene but when I'm at home you know I can put in that extra you know 10 15 hours for free but as soon as overtime hits I put in us old timers will put in 30 hours overtime 40 hours overtime so you're putting in a 70 80 hour a week and um so that my teacher used to say about this guy you know that he had his first dollar so nice guy you know i, I liked him but he was the one that they made mr magoo off of and uh so years later i'm in a restaurant just a i don't know like a just a you know simple burger place you know what do you call it i don't know chilies or something i don't know something like that and uh it wasn't that though and um i look over and there's the guy i don't want to say names but uh, you know people in the industry would know who he is and uh i walk over you know and i said hey you know and he was i asked the, the server i said who is that guy he said we don't know he comes in you know every night um orders a bowl of soup and you know has the free crackers <laughs> i'm already laughing and he just sits there quiet and um i said well i know him so i walked up and his name was bill and i said hey you know bill it's you know it's sheldon and uh my teacher used to call him you know that son of a bitch and uh i guess it was a, you know, it was a compliment back then so <laughs> um i walk up i go it's me and he goes i go it's sheldon eddie's eddie's kid you know because i was known as eddie's kid and uh he goes oh yeah whatever happened to that son, that son of a bitch i was laughing well he was dead i mean i think they forgot this guy i mean he must have been 110 years old so but when i worked with him you know i knew him as just a kid but when I worked with him, he would just push the pencil you know, you know, around the page. Animation was beautiful. So here I'm kind of telling the story. And, uh, you know, they've got, she's got her head really exposed in this picture, which is good. But maybe we bring the shoulder up higher, you know. So we have that story, you know, and she's begging. See? And I'm, and I'm looking for grouping of the uh, body parts. We call it the Jeffrey Dahmer training manual and cookbook. And what happens if you uh, go through a drive through like we had this El Pollo Loco in our school, you know. So, you know, you drive through. Now it's a Starbucks. 
and uh, they always have like some valley kid, you know, you know, hello, can I help you? Hello, you know, and you're like, um, yeah, I'd like the dark menu, please. And uh, you hear, okay, you know, and then she'd leave. Or he would leave, you know, if he gets scared. And then afterward, you know, a few moments, there'd be a voice. And the voice would say, yes, can I help you? And you say, yeah, I'd like to order an arm. Oh, okay, well, we have a special today. If you order the arm, we'll throw in the scapula for an extra dollar ninety-five cents. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, it makes good soup. So you order the scapula, see? So the arm connects with the scapula, see? And you say, um, can I get you anything else? Yeah, you know, my wife told me to get a leg. So um, I like to order the leg. Oh, we have a special today. I'm sure you do. For an extra $4.95, we'll throw in the buttocks. Great. Great food. You can feed half your neighbor. All right, throw that in. So when you draw the arm, you draw the leg. Don't just draw the leg. Start grouping. See? And then this group together. You know, because when you get chicken, you know, the leg looks like a leg. The wing looks like the wing, you know. And start thinking of the body the same way, okay? All right, so now we've got the laying. See, and that's the story. And uh, I don't know, maybe we can push the rib cage a little bit more this way. A little more tension. And spend as much time as you need at this stage, okay? So you're gonna see it. And rub it back. So it becomes the value of a half tone. Then take this charcoal and make love to it. Get in there and really feel how that scapula pushes. And get lost in it. You really can't see anything because it's so dark, so you have to know your stuff. For Spernata, Super Spernata, Terrace Major, Terrace Minor, Latissimus Dorsa, it's all here. But this is going to go this way. So if it does, we go that way. That's the secret. So let's take a minute to think about this. Everybody, stop what you're doing. If you want a drawing to be loose, if you want a drawing to have action, it has nothing to do with alcohol or drugs that's not going to do it at all ever i've only been drunk once in my whole life it was this 11th grade i hated it the room spun um we don't need it what you need is law of opposites and the wave and the cool bitch in a wave so this is going this way this goes this way this way that way and what's going to happen is you're going to get Really cool. You know, nice rhythms. See, my teacher, I wasn't allowed to give excuses. Doesn't mean I didn't. So I had a thing with my shoulder. It was hurting. So I have a friend, he's a surgeon. You know, so I went to his huge, huge orthopedic company met with one of the doctors for the shoulder they said you know we put some dye in there and look at it probably do some surgery and i'm like not for an artist you could do out any other part of the body but no way so i went for physical therapy which i've never done before because you know kids are sports you know and i thought it was kind of a joke man this person was a miracle worker and i was shocked on how well, you know, it was working. Finally, one day, he got just right, bam, you know, and it hurt. I said, okay, I'll tell you anything you want to know. I go, what did you just do? You know, what muscle was that? And I think it was the, um, I forget which one it was. 
maybe the inferus ternatus. I forget what it was, but it was one of the sit muscles. And I go, oh yeah, I know that muscle. And what he did is he got his finger in there, and you know, in between the muscles. He worked on it for weeks, and then he broke up the, the scar tissue. So I had the problem with a different shoulder. I fixed it myself. Just got it really warm in the shower, you know, a lot of hot water, and just kept working my finger in there. And finally, I got my finger um, under the deltoid, over the um, bicep, you know, just, and I thought, oh shoot, I'm there. And I went like that. And you know what? Felt great ever since. So now we got these floaters, you know, because they get to a certain age. And, um, you know, I'm doing research on them, you know, and they're like, well, you know, you kind of shit out of luck because that's just what you're going to have to deal with. But, you know, you're an artist, you got these floating around. So I've been researching it, and uh, I think I figured it out. So I'm, I can't, I'm not going to say anything, but I came up with a solution. I'm not, you know, there's only two solutions. You take fluid out, I'm not doing that, you're not lasering. But I came up with a graphic, a graphic image. And if I stare at it, I'll, I'll tell you if it works, but it's only been a few days and it's definitely improving a bit. So I, I don't know, maybe Eddie Rayburg, you know, he knew something, but not allowed to give excuses. Okay, so we got the head over here and, you know, that could be just a shape. Push that back. And then this will be texture. So coming around. You know, when you work in sales, you're not allowed to go to the sales manager and say, you know, give excuses. You know, you got tons of families that need to eat, you know, because that's what your job is as a salesperson is to bring the work in so the people can eat. Got to figure it out. So I'm about to get back into that. And figure out some marketing. So she's pretty long. She's getting stretchy, which is good. I would say if you're going to stretch or compress, go towards the stretch. And just make it a little bit more elegant. So do that. And then I'm going to come in this way. This comes around. And then we'll come down to those two dots. The light's going this way, so I'm going to have a core shadow here, and then my cast shadow down here. This is all, you've got that whole thing in dark. I guess we can do it. Yeah, we go, I'm going to bring it up higher though. And this is a female, it has a gland. So I want to use the breast as a tool and push like that. Um, they say that the breasts were designed to feed small children and keep significant others busy at night. Uh, it's not true. They were actually designed to show form and mass. So if you lay down, it falls to the side. Mine definitely falls to the side. Um, so we want to get this. In this case, it'll be a shape. But we can go ahead and put in a little tone there, give it mass, the ribcage mass. So they definitely have their reason. And in drawing, they're fun to play with. Okay, so we're going here. Um, we used to, you know, use the breast for measuring, but we stopped because we found that uh, sometimes the nipples are, it's like one head down to the nipple, but sometimes the nipples are down really low. So when you measure, they get these like really, tall, big, out of proportion heads. Um, and then those uh, low line nipples were even applied to some females. Because if you go to a party and it's a swim party, people my age, most of the breasts that are hanging down lower are my guys. Okay, here we go. So I go here. 
It'll come around. So if this is going down, then we'll go up. Go to Love Opposites. And then we'll go here into Booty Land. So we're working tone and line. So why do I mostly draw when I'm doing this? So far, they're mostly figure drawings. And uh, it's a real simple answer. I'm a figure drawing teacher. So uh, it's kind of what I like. But we'll be doing we'll be doing buildings and animals and stuff too. So now I've got all this tone here. I can put a core shadow and then just leave this as a line maybe. I love anatomy. I get that nice line versus the tone. It's fun. You have to put in hands and feet. So this is a registration, so this foot's registering to that leg. So we start there. Loosen it up. So this is all tone. So what I'm going to do is for the hair, I'm going to put texture in there.
Okay. So if you want to loosen it up, it's cool bitching and wave. You can't rely on, oh, I had a bad night. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> I always reference everything to a surgeon. The surgeon comes out and says, we lost your loved one. <laughs> what? What a bad day. You know, come on, give me a break. You know, well, bad days, you got other loved ones. No, you've got to be a professional. So, you know, if I want to loosen this up, it's all about, you know, putting these lines in, you know, these nice rhythm lines. But they can't just be something to think, you know, you pull out of the, somebody's, you know what. Cool, bitchin' way. That's it. Okay. Thanks for joining me with the sketchbooks. It's really kind of fun. Um, send Corey questions. If you don't like the bantering, because I have to talk, um, I'd rather just put music on and draw, personally. Um, just turn down the music. I mean, turn down my voice, and you'll see the drawing. If you don't like this stuff, then there's a lot of people out there that are really good because they're my friends. Just go to them. We're not worried about it. Okay, we'll see you around.